Hey everyone, it's Andrew from AOA. I just wanted to let you guys know of our latest purchase. We've been able to get a muskie net. Looking forward to muskie season this year. Uh, we've been kind of at a handicap and trying to land them in the past because we've been fishing A from a canoe and B with something not big enough to get a muskie into. So we decided to bite the bullet. We got a ranger net, a ranger muskie net. And this thing, we'll show you some of the features as to why we bought this one for our multi-purpose use when we're, when we're fishing with it. We'd really like it if you can subscribe to the channel. We love hearing some feedback from you about what you think of, the, of either the products or, uh, or even tips and tricks that you'd like to see coming up in future videos. Now the number one question you have when trying to find a net is size. And that's what we were took into consideration with this one. Uh, it's big enough to get your muskie into it. Not that we're planning on catching anything that big, but we're always hoping. Uh, and so it's with a net that size, especially having the flat bottom, it's a landing net, so even fishing from shore, if you're using it for multi-species like large carp, anything like that, even salmon, when you're putting it right against the bottom of the shore, it can be, be a lot more helpful to get those fish in the net, get them landed. But also something that could fit within the canoe. We wanted something that we can use, again, as much as possible for whenever we're fishing for these large fish. The mesh that we have on this net is the conservation netting. So it's nylon coated a threading or rope, not sure what you'd call it, but it's the nylon coating on it, so it's a lot less risk of uh, splitting the fins on a fish. You always have to exercise caution. There's always uh, damage that can be done when you're mishandling fish, but this is a big way to go, a big step in the right direction to help protect them against, and you know, make sure that musky, we're releasing them, keeping the populations up, keeping them healthy on that release. With the netting as well, some we found that they have just a thick rope essentially as the net, and I've seen so many photos or, or experiences with the guys they have this fish and this, the fins are just completely split in half out the side of the net so that's what we wanted to avoid uh, so with this one again much smaller holes so they can even land all the dinks that i'm going to be catching when i'm with jesse but it's something that will just has a lot more surface area so less risk of that that fin getting caught between and splitting and, and injuring the fish the handle on the ranger net here it's uh full aluminum so some of them have the nylon base where the kind of net fits into it. This is all aluminum construction. It's just the push fittings for the locking, but it's it's very solid. They have a nice, I'd say it's a four inch uh, insert where the net always remains in the bottom of, of this bracket here. So you're not gonna have a wobbly net trying to lift a fish up the side of a pier or into your boat. It's nice and solid for, again, its purpose of, of landing these big fish. It also has an extension, so it's a regular four foot, but then you can also extend it out. It has a secondary insert, which is a, uh, I believe it turns into an eight foot net, which is huge for landing, landing fish, especially even from the canoe, you might not think you want something this big, but we don't want to be leaning off the side of it to, to land a fish. We've had a bad experience with that last fall, <laughs> trying to get fish in the canoe with something Again, they're a bit too large for, for our purpose, what we were set up with. So this, we can now reach off the side of the canoe, net what we want, and just kind of hold it in the water, keep them safe, keep them secure, and be able to be safe ourselves in the, in the process. The other benefit for the long handle is, again, as multi-species fishermen, we want to be able to have a lot more use than just musky. Again, that's its prime focus, but something this size you can use for carp, for salmon, anything large, large fish you're going to be getting that your bass net just won't be able to handle properly. It's not perhaps ideal for those situations, but to have an eight foot net, you're fishing on a sloped bank for carp, that's when you're not dragging them all the way up through the mud, filling their, their gills full of dirt, trying to get them landed. Here we can actually put this way out in the water, get them in that net and be able to effectively land that fish. Even for salmon, reaching down off the side of a pier, then you can again have it secure, walk to a location where you can then lift it out of the water safely. So this is gonna be a huge, huge game changer for us in not only, perhaps not hooking the fish, but getting them in the boat, which is what really counts. We had a lot of del deliberation between Jesse and myself figuring out what net, to, what net to buy. We're really happy we made the choice to go with Ranger Nets. Again, we'll, we can give more reviews on it when we're actually using it, but looking at everything about it, we love the quality of it. We love how it's, it's made in the USA. It's, it's uh, not being shipped from overseas. We can easily get even replacement netting for it if necessary. Can be sourced, which is, which is fantastic. You don't want to be left out in the water without, what, without something you need. So that's why we decided to go with the Ranger Nets and we look forward to getting a big muskie in this thing this year.